Janet Androff here. Welcome to Avaris Physics Academy. In this video, we are going to explain the uniformly accelerated and decelerated circular motions. Write the set of equations of circular motion with constant angular acceleration. Solve an exercise about circular motion with constant angular acceleration. In the previous episode, we have seen that in uniform circular motion, the angular acceleration is zero. Now, consider a particle moving on a circular path. If the angular acceleration of this particle during a time interval delta t is different from zero, then this circular motion is called non-uniform circular motion. In this episode, we want to study two types of non-uniform circular motion. The first one, if theta w prime is a non-zero constant and theta w prime times theta prime is positive, then the motion of the particle is called uniformly accelerated circular motion. And if theta w prime is a non-zero constant, but theta w prime times theta prime is negative, then this motion is called uniformly decelerated circular motion. A particle M moves along the circumference of a circle of center O and radius R. If the angular acceleration of M theta W prime is a non-zero constant, then the motion of M is uniformly accelerated or uniformly decelerated circular motion. We will explain three relations. In the first relation, theta prime equal theta W prime T plus theta prime zero. Theta prime is the angular velocity of M. Theta prime could be negative or positive relative to the positive sense. If M moves on a direction as that of the positive sense, then theta prime positive. Otherwise, theta prime is negative. Theta prime zero is the initial angular velocity of M. If M starts from rest, then theta prime zero equals zero. In the second relation, theta equal one half theta w prime t squared plus theta prime zero t plus theta zero. Theta is the angular abscessa of M. Look at the figure. I is the origin and M is the position at an instant t. So theta is the angle between the two semi-lines OI and OM. Theta zero is the initial angular abscessa of M or is the angular abscessa of M at time zero. Look at the figure. At time zero, M starts from the position M zero. So theta zero is the angle between OI and OM zero. In the third relation, theta prime squared minus theta prime of zero squared equal to theta W prime times delta theta. Delta theta equals theta minus theta zero. Let's move to the average angular speed. The average angular speed is denoted by theta prime average. It is equal to the absolute value of delta theta, the angular displacement, divided by the time taken. This equation can be used for any circular motion, whether it is accelerated, decelerated, or uniform. For circular motion in the positive direction, delta theta is positive, so the average angular speed can be written as delta theta over delta t. Let's focus on circular motion with constant angular acceleration. This is the second equation of this motion. Take theta zero to the left side of this equation. You will get delta theta equals one half theta w prime t squared plus theta zero prime t. Now replace delta theta in the expression of the average angular speed by this expression. And remember that in the time interval zero t, delta t equals t minus zero, which is equal to t. Now you will get this equation, rearrange and again, rearrange. Now remember that theta w prime t plus theta zero prime equals theta prime. This is the first equation in the previous slide. Now you will get this equation. Theta prime is the angular speed at time t. Theta zero prime is the angular speed at time zero. 
This equation gives you the average angular speed for circular motion with constant angular acceleration in the positive sense. An important remark, this equation can be used directly without derivation. Let's solve an application. A particle P moves along the circumference of a circle of center O and radius R equals 2 meters. The angular abscessa of P is given by T squared plus 2T minus 2 in SI units. Number 1. Calculate the initial angular abscessa at time 0. To calculate theta of 0, replace T by 0 in the expression of theta. So, theta of 0 equals minus 2 radians. Number 2. Prove that P moves in the positive direction. To prove that P moves in the positive direction, we have to prove that theta prime or the time derivative of theta is positive. Theta equal T squared plus 2T minus 2. Then, the time derivative of T squared equals 2T. The time derivative of 2T equals 2. And the time derivative of minus 2 equals 0. So, theta prime equals 2T plus 2. According to this expression, theta prime is positive for any value of T. Therefore, P moves in the positive direction. Focus, please. This is important. Let's move to part 3. Prove that P is in uniformly accelerated circular motion. First, let's find the angular acceleration. The angular acceleration is the time derivative of the angular velocity. So let's differentiate 2t plus 2 with respect to time. The derivative of 2t with respect to time is 2. The derivative of 2 is 0. Therefore, the angular acceleration equals 2 radians per second squared. Now, if the motion is uniformly accelerated circular, then we have two conditions. First, theta double prime must be a non-zero constant. Theta double prime equals two radians per second squared, so it is a non-zero constant. And theta prime times theta double prime must be positive. Theta double prime is positive. Theta prime is positive for any instant. This is proved in the previous slide. Then, theta double prime is a non-zero constant. And theta double prime times theta prime is positive. Then, the circular motion of P is uniformly accelerated. Let's move to part four. Calculate the time needed by the particle to attain an angular velocity of six radians per second. To calculate this time, just replace theta prime in the expression of the angular velocity by 6. Then, 6 equals 2t plus 2, therefore, t equals 2 seconds. Number 5. Determine the length of the arc delta s traveled by p during the first 2 seconds. Delta S is given by R times the absolute value of delta theta. R equals 2 meters. Now we have to determine the angular displacement or the absolute value of the angular displacement between 0 and 2 seconds. To calculate theta of 2, replace T by 2 seconds in the expression of theta. So, theta of 2 equals 6 radians. Then, during the time interval 0 to the absolute value of delta theta equals the absolute value of theta of 2 minus theta of 0. Theta of 2 equals 6 radians. Theta of 0 proved before equal minus 2. So, the absolute value of delta theta between 0 and 2 seconds equals 8 radians. So, delta S, which is equal to R times the absolute value of delta theta, equals 2 times 8 equals 16 meters. Let's move to part 6. Calculate the average angular speed of P during the first 2 seconds. The average angular speed is given by this expression, the absolute value of the angular displacement divided by the time taken. In the previous slide, we found the angular displacement during the first 2 seconds. It is 8 radians. 
Delta T equals 2 minus 0, which is equal to 2 seconds. Therefore, the average angular speed during the first 2 seconds is 4 radians per second. Let's move to part 7. P moves through an angle of 15 radians during the time interval 0 T. Determine the angular velocity of P at the instant T. Remember, we are studying circular motion with constant angular acceleration. Let's remember the three basic equations of circular motion with constant angular acceleration. Now, which equation would we choose to calculate the angular velocity at the instant t? The first two equations include time, but the time is unknown. So, let's use the third equation because it does not include time. Now, to calculate the angular velocity at the instant t, we need to calculate the initial angular velocity. We have the expression of the angular velocity at any instant. Just replace t by zero in this expression. Then, the initial angular velocity is 2 radians per second. Now, we are ready to calculate the angular velocity at the instant t. The initial angular velocity is 2 radians per second. The angular acceleration is 2 radians per second squared. Delta theta is 15 radians. And then the angular velocity at the instant t is 8 radians per second. 7b. Deduce the value of the instant t. At the instant t, we know the values of theta prime, theta double prime, and theta prime of zero so we have to use the first equation replace theta prime by eight theta double prime by two and theta prime of zero by two therefore t equals three seconds number eight did use the angular abscessa of p at the instant t now we have to use the second equation now replace theta double prime by two replace t by three replace theta prime of 0 by 2, and theta of 0 by minus 2. Therefore, at the instant t, the angular abscessa equals 13 radians. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and share.